So saints, when uh, we deal with the aspect of the image of God is the imagination of God. So when God made man in his image, he made man in his imagination. So it was his fantasy being fulfilled. You notice that when the father fulfills his fantasy, then he starts teaching the man what he also fantasized the man doing in his image. He fantasized about the man having dominion. So he gave him dominion. He fantasized the man being blessed, being rich. So he gave the man riches. He fantasized about the man having health. So he gave him health. He fantasized about the man having authority over animals. So he gave him authority over animals. He fantasized about the man ruling the earth. So the man ruled the earth. He fantasized about the man sowing bountifully. So he gave him every herb yielding seed. Since the highest level of supplies that God gave to Adam was in the seed, because he gave him every type of seed and told him, sow it. And when you sow it, every other thing shall be added unto you. The kingdom of God did not start in Matthew. The kingdom of God started in Genesis chapter one. When God taught Adam how to sow, he was telling him how to cooperate with the glory cloud, how to cooperate with signs and wonders, how to set in motion his own overflow promotion, how to graduate from one dimension of glory class to the next dimension of glory class. The seed that Adam had was carrying his wife, his children, his joy, his peace, his pleasures, his wholeness, his health, his wellness, his victories, his focus, his prayer life. His seed that he was sowing was carrying his justice, his praises, his, his, the prayers he would utter to God was in those seeds. The prophecies he was going to prophesy was in those seeds. The visions he was going to see was in those seeds. The health he was going to have in his blood, his body was in those seeds. God was showing Adam how he, as Jehovah God, stayed divine through sowing. All Adam had to do was keep on sowing. And saints, then God gave him a wife because he was supposed to teach his wife how to sow. A husband is supposed to teach his wife how to be a sower. When God made Adam, he made him to teach his wife how to sow. Abram taught his wife how to sow. That's why he's saying, I'm going to take, take the son and offer up our seed, our, our living seed, our child seed unto God. Adam was assigned to teach his wife how to sow. And then teach the children how to sow. If you notice, people of God, look at what happened with uh, Adam's son. Both of his sons were called to sow, but Abel successfully sold. But you see, there's a sowing heritage. There's a sowing DNA. And they, they're, they're, they are walking in it, but Abel is walking in it fully unadulterated, no evil, no contamination, a pure sowing oil. And saints, there's a reason why Cain is jealous because there is visible results. Cain was comparing God's reaction to Abel's seed and how God blessed Abel's seed to how God responded to his seed. So Abel had a prosperity dispensation of wealth on his life through sowing. 
If you going to take a hold of all that God has for you, you ain't going to get there by praying and fasting. You're going to get there by sowing. You can't tell me nothing. I done prayed and fast. There ain't no African prophet prayed and fast more than me. <laughs> I start out fasting. That's why I don't, I don't understand how people fast today. They've been telling some, we doing an ice cream fast. Saints, how we fasted was no food, no water. I'm talking going past all the meters that doctors tell you, you can't drink, no, you need water. But we went no food, no water. Long months. So, so you can't tell me nothing. You can sit there and tell us, well, Prophet Joshua Holmes, yeah, I fast and pray, I'm going to get into this. No, you're not going to get into it by fasting and prayer. Because even when I fasted and prayed, the father put some money in my hands. Because you got to sow on your altar. You can tell the Lord that you love him until your lips start watering and your eyes start watering and everything else start watering. <laughs> At the end of the day, you still gonna have to sow, baby. <laughs> you, 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 you can talk that talk, read scriptures, quote it out, dance it out, shout, devotionals, promotionals, all of that. You can kiss zebras, say that you love the animals, Love God, creation, Mother Earth. You can pray to Mother Earth, pray to Elizabeth, pray to Mary Magdalene, pray all of them, but you still going to have to sow a seed. The seed sowing is what the Father desires from everybody. So he going to pick seed in your hand. The Bible says he ministers seed to the sower. He going to pick seed in your hand and let you decide whether or not you're going to receive your calling. Saints, I'm going to tell you like this here. I'm still sowing today and I will always sow. I will never depart from this. I will never walk away from this. One moment in my personal life, every day I sow. Every day I sow. And uh, I, I planted a glory realm on my ministry because I honor God. I have financial integrity. I'm listening to the spirit of God financially. I, I am governed by the word of God with finances. I want to tell you this, the seed brings all plans from the father, from heaven to earth. The seed allows God to bring all the rivers of his, from his throne to flow it to your life on earth. When you are seed sower, everything that you're destined to have, everywhere you're destined to go, the father going to bring it to pass even by using people in this earth realm. There are certain things that you'll look at today and you'll say, well, how will God do that? There are people inside of your seed that are created to help you. They're created to assist you. And until you start sowing, they can't assist you because they'll break, they'll violate divine protocol. The spirit of God hid them in your honor. So the spirit of God had people that Adam was going to meet as he was sowing. And he did meet those people. Number one was his wife. So while he was sowing, he was releasing his wife into the earth realm. Now, now you got to understand for a man to, to sow, the power of his sowing was his wife was carrying all of his pleasures. Remember, your wife carries your sexual aspect. She carries your uh, feeding aspect. You, 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 you have food from your wife. You have help from your wife, assistance. You have peace from your wife, comfort, protection. A wife is a protector. So when God gave him a wife, God was saying, I'm giving you protection. I'm giving you pleasure. I'm giving you a sex life. So, so his sex life was in his seed. Your seed not outside of your sex life. That's why people begin diseases. And saints, I'm going to tell you like this. Condom don't protect you from nothing. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a believer in condoms. They don't protect you from nothing. Where it protect you from? Oh, it protect you. It, 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 it. Yeah, you believe that. You wake up burning. You wake up burning, Tom, so you believe that? Nah. 
condoms is man-made just like, bless God, a piece of napkins. It's man-made. Truth be told, uh, condoms have been a deceptive thing that the the spirit of Satan made people think that nothing was being transferred to them. Well, I'm not getting pregnant. I'm not impregnating nobody. But you're still getting a, a, a kingdom transfer from the person you're having sex with. People, people, your tum tum be nasty, girl. Uh, uh, you, you let the wrong man enter you. You go from clean to Charlie Sheen. You just, ah. When you're tun tun nasty, girls, it mess up everything. I promise you. It, if you're tun tun nasty, it's just, it's just, you, you, it, 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 it's borderline suicidal. <laughs> Since when I was young, I ain't want, I ain't want nobody to contaminate me. I ain't want nobody to contaminate me. Them stanky booty girls, when, when they, they was up there, they was hot on me. I ain't, I ain't mind me nothing, cause I wanted, I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it didn't mind me now because I wanted my life my, I, I wanted my life to remain in the purity of God and it fazed me none see some people when, when you got stinky booty people fronting with you you think it's all commendable you get all happy <laughs> that stuff don't excite me I don't care big bird blue bird yellow bird is flirting with me. I don't care if it's Larry Bird. <laughs> I don't care if it's Larry Bird. It could be Larry Bird, Big Bird, uh, 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 Bird Man. Huh? I don't care if it's Bird Man. I still don't get turned on by that. Since, since today I was so, I just, I, I was headed to something, you know, and young, young girl, young, young girl, she looked, According to the natural, you'll think that she's pretty, but I felt she was stank. You try to talk to me, I just cut the conversation. I ain't telling Jesus love or nothing. I just, I like, God, come, come on, man. I've been known to tell people, man, I'm old enough to be your granddaddy, your great grand granddaddy. Just, just, just you, you. Go talk to some Ninja Turtles. There's a lot of Ninja Turtles that smell like. Weed and seed. Weed, seed, and bleed. All that. It's just nastiness. It's just got scabs and they driving cabs. That's all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all it's, it's a lot. It's a lot out here. There's a lot of amphibians out here. There's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of baby walruses <laughs> out here. There's a lot of baby walruses out here. There's a lot of Tarzans and, and dinosaurs and, 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 and there's a lot of sea creatures walking on earth. You, you choose from one of them. Saints, you, you don't even want to sleep with somebody that don't got the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost will tell you go take a shower. You think them demons be telling them stank, stank people to take showers? No, nah, I See, see, you gotta have the Holy Ghost inside of you. The Holy Ghost is gonna help you do all things. If some people ain't got the Holy Ghost. You up there? You think that the they they don't be taking no shower? They don't be keeping their hygiene. And they sop you down. You don't understand their mouth smell like uh uh, uh their mouth coming into it smell like guacamole. You the <laughs> you leave <laughs> you leave you trying to take fifty you trying to. Take 25 showers trying to recover your, your, your. You only took 25 showers, is it not? You only took 99 showers. And... Your sex life is in seed sowing. If you're not a seed sowing, you have sex, you nasty. You nasty. Because what, what come to you, ugh. And says that be Satan's whole goal. Satan won't contaminate you, make you nasty. 
Because, saints, you do lose value through sin. Now, you can get repaired and restored now. That's not impossible, but you got to deal with the factuality of this. When, 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 when the devil could successfully use your body outside of God's will, you done ended up being defiled. Saints, defilement is when Satan can access your body successfully and accomplish a demonic schedule through that body. It, it, it starts defilement. So say, now you understand, if you say something you're not supposed to say, do something you're not supposed to do, you end up defiled because it goes against the schedule of the body. The seed was carrying Adam's sex life. It was carrying his family. It was carrying his money. You notice her villa was on the other side and that seed that Adam was going to sow was going to keep on promoting him in this supernatural economy that he was walking in on the earth. When you're sowing, there's a supernatural economy a divine economy, a apostolic money distribution demonstration of God that comes to you because God is saying, I see you from my throne. I see you sowing into me. So I'm going to release silver and gold from my category. There is cash from God's category. There is provision from God's category. It's from his catalog. And he'll get it to you if you are a faithful steward financially of what he gives you. Solomon's seed had the queen of Sheba's wisdom in it. So when, when Solomon was sowing, there was somebody else's life that needed him to sow to unlock the impartation he would give them. So, so the spirit of God was telling me earlier that if Solomon didn't sow, the queen of Sheba would have remained ignorant. I know it's ignorant, but ignorant. Because the queen of Sheba, her seed was carrying the protection of what she received. Solomon's seed was carrying the receptivity of what she was going to receive. So he received the glory and then he gave her the glory. She sold to protect the glory he gave her. That information was deep information. So the glory is when the information of God is more steep, more deep. The anointing is powerfulness in the information, is transformation in the information, is deliverance in the information. But the glory is when the information is more steep and deep and it takes you out of just barely getting it to dominating and releasing others to dominate. So when someone is in the glory realm, they have information not only that successfully caused them to dominate, but if you heed them, you will dominate also. So saints, I want you to catch this. Sowing is the glory realm of God. Bountiful sowing. Not just sowing, but bountiful sowing. That means that you are past elementary giving of money. You're not giving no $20 and $50 and no $100. You are saying, Lord, I got $800. Here, I'm going to give you $500. I'll give you $300. I'm going to give you $800. That's, that's bountiful sowing where you give the best of what you could give. And then you sacrifice. You think about it. You're like, I paid $200 for food, but hey, hell. I, I, I'm going I'm to pay 200. I'm going to add this 200 to the seed and I'm going to sacrifice. That's bountiful sowing. Bountiful sowing is where you neglect yourself to give God a greater measure of your money, of your provision. Bountiful sowing is where you go without, you deprive yourself. And saints, that's why all other things shall be added unto you. You see this jacket that I'm wearing? You, what this jacket is? This Louis Vuitton. Louis, Louis Vuitton. This Louis Vuitton jacket. This is what I'm wearing. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton jacket. This is a Louis Vuitton. Your seed, it comes back to you. You deprive yourself when you're sowing. But God 
supplies yourself when you're sowing. You're saying, Lord, I, I trust you as my source to clothe me. And then he clothes you. Remember, he clothed the lily. It's here today, gone tomorrow. He give them the greatest clothing. The Bible said that their clothing is better than the glory of Solomon. They are arrayed better in, in, in clothing and God clothes them in their temporal. You bigger than the lily. Money cometh to you right now as you're listening to me. You bigger than the lily. You bigger than the birds. God made them lower in their creation. He made you higher. You think that God don't got overflow waiting for you? Overflow, going overflow and keep on overflowing until you overflow with overflowing joy. All financial angels are ready to take your decrees and bring them into activities. Speak up, talk up, walk up, wake up, sow up, reap up. You heard about sowing upwards? I want to talk to you about a doctrine called reaping upwards. You reap upwards. When you're reaping upwards, now you're in the bountiful reaping. See, we talk about bountiful sowing, but it's bountiful reaping. When you're reaping big, you're calling it in. You're praising God. You're celebrating. There's reaping big. 